So, um, first came the 2022 F-150 Raptor, um, then the 2022 F-150 Tremor, now the 2023 F-150 Rattler. Um, before we start today, I just wanted to state that YouTube tells me that only 1% of you are subscribed to Luke's Short Tutorials. If you haven't already, please make sure you are subscribed, and while you're at it, hit that like button and turn on the post notifications bell so you don't ever miss any of my content. So coming later this year is the 2023 F-150 Rattler. Um, it is coming as a new package in the F-150 Off-Road series. And Ford says this is a value proposition and this is what it looks like. Um, it's based on the F-150 XL and it's going to be available with only one wheelbase. It is a 145 inch wheelbase and that means it is a crew cab with a shorter bed. You can also get it with a super cab which is a longer cab with a longer bed. And that's the only two configurations that it is going to be coming in unfortunately maybe in somewhere in 2024 or 5 we can see a couple more configurations but as of right now those are the only ones that ford is showing us so the only real difference between the xl fx4 which is another f-150 if you don't know it's just basically that one but it's a fx4 instead um is the tires these are lt 267 70 r18s and brand new wheels 33.6 and 32.5 inches. Um, the tires are a little bit more rugged, all-terrain tires, and of course, as you can see in the pictures, it has a dual exhaust system, which I can give you a picture of right here. So as you can see, it has a dual exhaust system right there. And so the dual exhaust system is not going to give you anything else. It's really just going to give you um looks it's not going to make it sound different it's not going to make it any louder um unlike the tremor the f-150 tremor it is a um slightly louder exhaust tone it's not like anything crazy but it's like slightly louder so you can get a little bit more sound out of that but like i said this is nothing special it's just a base f-150 with a couple um <clears throat> off-road modifications basically and it's affordable sec Speaking of affordable, Ford has not yet dumped the prices on the Rattler. As you can see, there's literally one, two, three, four pictures, and then all the rest of them are other stupid pictures that nobody cares about. <laughs> so obviously, you're probably going to be wondering about engines, and the only... Um, there actually is a lot of different powertrain choices, and the only ones are the 3.3 liter base slow turd V6 is not going to be available in the 2023 Rattler. It's going to be a 2.7 twin turbo EcoBoost, a 3.5 twin turbo EcoBoost, and it's going to be a 5 point liter V8. Yes, guys, the V8 is still going to be here in 2023, and of course the hybrid as well. So we have a choice of several different engine options, and I'm super glad that the V8 is still here in 2023. Now, obviously, the 2023 F-150 Rattler is based off of an XL, which is the lowest grade F-150 possible, so low that you will not receive any carpet on the floor on the inside of the 2023 F-150 Rattler. There's not much difference besides the 12-inch screen inside of this truck, which is actually insane for an XL-based truck, and that's really the only luxury feature that you will get. Um, navigation is optional in Ford.com when the truck is available for purchase later this year at the end of 2022. Near um, October, or I, I'm pretty sure it's around October that it's going to be available. Ford has not dumped the release date yet, but usually all the trucks that are released in springtime will be a few months later. And other YouTubers are saying that it'll be released by the end of 2022, which is near October. So I know it was a really quick one today, guys, but if you enjoyed today's video, um, like I mentioned at the beginning, only a small percentage of you are subscribed. I would absolutely love it if you can simply scroll down and click subscribe and like the video. It's free and literally takes three seconds. Um, I appreciate it, guys, and have a great day.